is just about complete. Run the Star's orders. And they're racing to an absolutely level beginning. Uh, Illyria is the one who pops away best of all. But on the outside, there goes Jocular to pick it up. So Jocular is the leader with a mile to go from Illyria. These two are about three lengths up on what you think. And Inspired Adventure is another six lengths to drift as you come into the stretch of the first time. They're going at a pretty decent clip. On the inside, Illyria and Anderson Trotman, and on the outside, Jocular. These two are disputing the lead with a circuit to go. There's a break of a two lengths or so before we get to what you think. And Inspired Adventure is already closing up on the fleeting trio. The quartet head down the back stretch. They've got just about five for longs to go. The opening quarter, 26 and one. Half mile, 49 and four. Uh, it is a layer by three parts of a length from Jocular. What you think in a catbird position observing these two? There's a break of three lengths before we get to Inspire the Adventure. As they're on the far turn, they head back towards their departure point. And uh, there's a perceptible improvement of the pulse as a layer goes on. Jocular being cast to get a little closer. Also, what you think? Inspired Adventure yet to find his best stride. Six and one, 14 and three. They've got just over two furlongs left to go. And the leader on the inside is the leader. And on the outside, Jocular. What you think is coming with a grand run? Inspired Adventure has five to find and less than a quarter mile left to do so. And there are no more turns. And into the stretch they come. And on the outside, it's Jocular. Here comes what you think of the grand run. Also, here is Inspired Adventure splitting horses. It's Inspired Adventure who gets through the and wins it now. Wins it by just about a length and a half from Jocular. What you think was third and Alaire was the last one home to stop the clock in 152 and 3. In a moment, the unofficial results. He given a super cool ride by jockey Ricky Walker, who marks a double on the card. So many congratulations to the connections of horse number four in Spider Avenger. And he looks very, very pleased with the entire proceedings. He looked as though he didn't break, break a sweat, actually. And of course, he's a seven-year-old chestnut horse by Tapazar out of Ocean Colors, owned by H&M. Trained by Kenny John, ridden to victory by Ricky Walker, took along 110 pounds, and Neville Griffith is the groom. So many congratulations to Inspired Adventure as he collects win number 10 in his career. Second was horse number three, Jocular. Asked to move mountains with 128 pounds, gave it a very Brilliant effort. This four year old Bay Philly by Harris Point would have unfunny. Owned by Darwin Clark, trained by Sean Hall, ridden by Ray Williams. Uh, came to the top of the lane, looked very, very good, but obviously giving away 18 pounds was always a tough ass. And she ran on to be second. This is now her third second in five starts since coming to Barbados. Finishing third was horse number one. What you think? A seven year old bear horse by Al Maduro out of nicely arranged. Took it on 108 pounds with Lester Edwards in the irons for owner Mr. Barry Bishop and trainer Naz Issa. And fourth was the early leader, Aleria, horse number two, who ventured to the front to take on um, Jocla. And uh, I think that just about sums, summed up Jocla's race there. And Aleria is a six year old mayor by Dutch Art with a Garcia director. Owned by Josie Atkinson, trained by Kenny John, Riddleman Anderson, 18 pounds to finish in fourth.